The additional materials you will need to install this steering wheel cover are a pair of scissors and some wet wipes or paper towels. Now the first step before installing the steering wheel cover is to clean the steering wheel thoroughly. And you can do this using paper towels and soapy water or some wet wipes. And it's really important to get all the oil off of the steering wheel before installing the cover because this will make the steering wheel cover stick to the steering wheel really well and feel much better. Once the steering wheel is dry, you're ready to put the steering wheel cover on. To do this, you first have to orient it correctly. If you look at the steering wheel cover, the smooth, darker surface should be on the outside and this rubbery surface should be on the inside. This seam where the material of the steering wheel cover is stitched together should be in the 12 o'clock position and this writing on the inside that says front should be facing towards you. So to put the steering wheel cover on, it's easiest to start at the bottom, hold it in place with your knees, and then stretch it over the rest of the steering wheel. And this may require some force. The most important step in installing your steering wheel cover is to make sure that it's aligned correctly. Now the steering wheel cover is symmetric, so it should look identical around, for example, the left and the right spoke. So if I look at this corner down here of the steering wheel cover on the left spoke, I can tell it's below where that same corner is on the right spoke. Similarly, if I look at the center, this left side is too far to the right, and the right side is too far to the right as well. So I know that I need to rotate the steering wheel cover clockwise to improve the alignment. And by pressing the steering wheel cover against the steering wheel, it's much easier to see whether, whether it's misaligned or not. You can see now that the alignment is much better. And you want to perform this alignment process very carefully because it'll have a huge effect on the final look of the product. Another really important step in the alignment process is to make sure that the front and back of the steering wheel cover meet in the middle of the steering wheel. So if you look here, the front of the steering wheel cover and the back aren't meeting in the middle of the steering wheel, which is typically over the factory stitching. So by simply rotating the steering wheel cover, you can make sure that this is the case. And you want to do this throughout the whole steering wheel before beginning to stitch. To attach the steering wheel cover to the steering wheel, you essentially have to connect the front and back of the steering wheel cover using the thread that we've provided by passing the thread through what I will refer to as loops right here. And you won't do this using a single piece of thread because dealing with one long thread becomes a hassle, but instead you will do this in segments. So in our case, we're going to begin here to the left of the bottom spoke, proceed immediately across that spoke, all the way up to the beginning of the right spoke. We will stop the first segment there. Then we'll take a new piece of thread, start where we left off to the, at the bottom of the right spoke, sew so immediately across that spoke, and then all the way up until the next spoke, right here. That's where we'll end our second segment. Again, we will take a new piece of thread, start here at the top of the left spoke, sew so immediately around the spoke, and all the way back down to where we began. Now, as I mentioned, where you begin doesn't really matter, but you always want to follow the general principle that you start right next to a spoke, stitch across that spoke, all the way up until the next spoke. You take a new piece of thread, again, stitch immediately across that spoke, all the way up until the next spoke, until you've completed all the spokes and on your, until your steering wheel cover is fully connected. Now you're ready to thread the needle using the thread that we've provided. Now the first segment we'll be stitching is from here to here, and that's about 10 inches long. And a good rule of thumb is to cut an amount of thread that's about 8 times as long as the segment you'll be stitching. So in our case, we'll cut about 80 inches or 6 feet of thread. And it's very important not to cut too little thread, because you don't want to end your stitch early, but cutting too much thread is a bit of a hassle. So to get your thread ready, you simply thread the needle, just like any other needle, and pull the thread through all the way up until when the two ends of your thread meet. And at that point, you want to tie a simple knot at the end of the thread. And tighten it very tightly. And then simply cut off the excess. So we'll essentially be using a double thread throughout the steering wheel. The way you want to begin stitching a particular segment is as follows. So the thread in the steering wheel cover 
near the spoke begins to turn right here at this point. What you want to do is pass your needle through that point from the inside of the steering wheel cover. Until the knot gets stuck in that point. Next, you want to pass this thread through a loop at the back of the steering wheel cover. And you want to pass it through this first loop right here after the thread in the steering wheel cover begins to turn around the spoke. But you want to do this at the back of the steering wheel cover. and tighten. And you can rotate the steering wheel cover a little bit until you get optimal alignment. And then next you simply pass your thread through all these loops around the spoke. And you want to do this loop by loop, tightening after each one, in order to avoid knots in your thread. And sometimes it's helpful to pull the individual parts of the thread in order to get the thread to be tight throughout. Once you reach the end of the spoke, you want to pull the thread really tight and flatten out any of these bumps around the spoke. And then you want to pass the thread at the back side of the steering wheel cover right here through the last loop where the thread in the steering wheel cover begins to turn. and tighten. And then you simply sew up the steering wheel cover until the next spoke, but you want to skip every other loop. So here instead of stitching through this loop, I would stitch through this one. And you usually want to stitch through the front, through the back, and then tighten. And again through the front, through the back, and then tighten. And you want to keep making sure that the front and back of the steering wheel cover meet in the middle. And then to terminate the thread, what you want to do is you want to pass a thread through the last loop at the front of the steering wheel cover. And then similarly to how you began, you want to pass the thread through one of these holes at the back side of the steering wheel cover already created by the stitch in the steering wheel cover. So at that point you want to tighten the thread. Then you want to pass the needle again through that same hole. and don't tighten it. You want to create this kind of loop. And then you will use that loop to create a knot. So pass the needle through that loop and then tighten. And you can do this twice. And you simply cut off the excess thread and that's it. To complete the steering wheel cover you simply repeat this step on the other two segments. So now I'm going to stitch from here to here, and then from here to here. And I'd like you to keep in mind that if you cut too little thread so that you have to terminate your stitch prematurely, you can use the starting and ending procedure for the thread that I just described on any point in the steering wheel cover.
Once you reach the 12 o'clock position of the steering wheel, where there's this little bump in the seam where the two sides of the material meet, you want to stitch through every loop without skipping one. And this will help smooth out the bump caused by the seam. And that's it. You're done.